1865, after nearly 700,000 Americans had died. And that was always the saddest part about it. They weren't all Northerners. And they weren't all Southerners. They, they were all Americans. But Robert E. Lee and his army surrendered at Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia. For all intent and purposes, the war was over. But now, ladies and gentlemen, as the president, I had another terribly difficult task before us. Now, I had to rebuild an entire nation that had been torn in two and shattered to pieces. But it was a job that I would never get to finish. Just five days after General Lee surrendered, just five days after what everyone prayed was the end of the war, on Good Friday, April the 14th, 1865, my wife Mary and I went to Ford's Theater in Washington to attend a play entitled Our American Cousin. About halfway through that play, just as I had reached to take my wife by the hand, an angry young man named John Wilkes Booth pointed a small gun just behind my left ear and he fired one shot. And I became the first American president to be assassinated. I had just turned 56 years old. Well, I just did it. I just told you folks the whole story of my life from the day I was born.